because Larry King is coming on in a moment, and that's my favorite show on television. I know I'm probably the only person under the age of 900 that's in love with Larry King. I do, because the man's done over 60,000 interviews, and not one of them has ever made coherent sense. And that's why he never gets fired. It's even better when he has a crazy person on, because then for an hour, nothing makes sense. He had Liza Minnelli on not too long ago. Yeah, I mean, God love Liza Minnelli, but she's so, like, she claims she has diseases you haven't even heard of in 100 years. Larry doesn't even say nothing about it. She's like, Larry, it's terrible. I haven't been performing because for the last seven months I've had scurvy. <laughs> Larry, do you miss your mother? You ever watch The Wizard of Oz? It's on TNT a lot. I would, that was my mom. Who do you think killed Lacey Peterson? <laughs> you think Michael Jackson's going to prison? We'll be right back with more lies than I. <laughs> he is not a good interview. The only person I think is worse than interview is Barbara Walters, and I don't like to pick on people's looks, but her right, she's a millionaire, she's chosen to be on television, and her right eye is a six and a half inches higher than her left eye. I'm like, ma'am, you have money. Move one up, pull the other one down. This is highly distracting. I am sideways on the couch and I can knock at a focal point <laughs> where I'm like, this is why her guests start crying like halfway through the interview. <laughs> they're just dizzy and then they're scared. They're like, holy God, her eyes on the back of her head. Does she know or should we say something? Guess she's all right with that. God. They don't quit, though, egos. I'll tell you, the biggest egomaniac, I think, in this country, bar none, is Dr. Laura, the radio talk show host. Oh, my God. But, and I don't like her, but sometimes I listen because I cannot believe people continue to call. <laughs> when they go, we have another caller on the line, I'm like, shut up. How is this possible? <laughs> Who hasn't got the memo? She's not even a psychiatrist. This is how arrogant she is. She refers to herself as a moral leader. I'm like, wow, how do you get to that point in your life where you're so cocky, you just walk around your house one day going, you know what, I'm so damn right about everything. I think I'm gonna have to start taking calls. <laughs> really? Wow. She's just not nice to people. Like one guy called, basically he said his relationship of eight months wasn't working out. Dr. Laura goes, where'd you meet this woman? He goes, oh, well, I didn't think that was important, but actually I met her at a bar. And she's like, well, there's your problem, sir. You met the woman at a bar. She's obviously an alcoholic and a whore. <laughs> I was like, hey lady, some of us are just alcoholics, okay? <laughs> Where this whole whore thing comes into the picture.